Oi, oi, lads. Hello, guys. What's up? Oi, oi. It's been a while. I haven't played... I've played a little bit of Magic when I've been away, but, like, just on my phone. Like, a little cube draft here and there, but... I've not been following too much. From what I've seen on Twitter, people are just going crazy about random shit. Which is pretty weird. Yeah, it's been it's been a week, guys. <clears throat> I've I'll be honest. I don't know if I'm just like an incredible dad or not, but <laughs> like, it's not that difficult. Answer. It's it not really it's is. not even close to as hard as I thought it was gonna be. But maybe <laughs> maybe our baby's sick, I don't know. But I swear he sleeps for like sixteen hours a day. He just got he just operates on three hour cycles. He <laughs> like, sleeps for two answer. hours and it then he's really awake is. for one hour and in that one hour we feed him, change him, and walk around the room for like twenty <laughs> like, minutes. And then he goes answer. back to sleep for another two it hours. Really is. It's a walk in the park, man. It's easy. It's truly easy. He doesn't know? What do you mean I don't know? Like, at night? I was expecting to be up, like, all night. Every night. But... I mean, m me and my girlfriend are getting up, like, once a night each. It's absolutely fine. Now... I'm not gonna. To you and your family less than three. I'm not gonna get too ahead of myself. I'm sure it'll get slightly more difficult at some point. However, oil add. The difficulty level is very much overrated. If anybody's up all night with their baby, and they're like whining about it, they just they should have just had a better baby. I don't know. Maybe their baby's shit. But ours is sick. <laughs> Bad B. Seriously, it's easy. <clears throat> Just draw better, that's what I'm saying. Alright, so I have prepared 10 new or new ish decks. Uh, I think, uh, well, I tried to get five standard, five historic, and I think I have. I've got Golgari standard, Orzov standard, historic burn, historic feather, historic neoform, historic wizards, standard Selesnia, standard Boros, historic grape shot, and uh, <laughs> like, this is great a historic answer. Nexus deck. It really is. So we can take a look at them. Who knew a streaming job came with came with maternity leave? Dude, I've Welcome been away back. for like one we week. You. One week. Dur during that week, many things have happened. Very brave well, of three you things to have a child happened. while claim the firstborn is still legal. One, we have a child. Two. I am a Daddy is back, confirmed please. member of esports organization, and three, Magic the Gathering has died. Happy to see Day dies and hear about the health. Well, let's young see if lad. we can fix that. <clears throat> All right. So these are the decks. I mean, some of them seem really good. Some of them seem less likely to be good. But, so we have just Boros Burn Deck, and I want to try the Bibli Biblioplex in this Burn Deck, which should be sick. I mean, I say should be sick. Could be trash, but could be a cool thing to try. And then apart from that, it's just kind of normal, normal Burn Deck, I guess. Nothing too crazy. Don't leave for a week anymore, please. Congrats to you and the family. 
Are you going to teach him magic? Did, did you want to have the same hobbies, hobbies as your dad when you were X years old? No. In fact, <clears throat> when I was a young whippersnapper, you know, when I was Congrats, like four Daddy years Parties. old, I was first getting into football. And uh, my dad took me to a Celtic game. He was a Celtic supporter. And by the time I got home, I was a Rangers fan. So that tells you all you need to know about me. And I expect my son will be the same. <clears throat> That's a true story. <laughs> Contrarian, or can I, can I say I'm a piece of shit? Uh, this is Ors of Magecraft. We have Lumomancer, Light Scribe, the Magecraft cards, Clarion Spirit, because I think this deck can make a bunch of tokens. I'm pretty sure. Uh, Giant Killer is just a good card. Doggo's a good card. It, we can play Luris, which is pretty gas. We have Silver Quill Command. Humiliate with... Congratulations, I've, dude. Hope I, you are enjoying time with your new family. I think we have enough one drops to consistently get some counters Hello, with Daddy. us. Hopefully. Uh, Vanish and Verse seems good. Plum the Forbidden seems good. Fracture Sideboard. This is one of the decks that I think has an actual chance to be good. A lot of them I just want to try, but I'm not too excited about them. Like, burn, I mean, burn always sucks, even though I like to try it every time. This one could actually be decent. I mean, this does some strong-ass stuff. Uh, the Selesnia one has also got a chance to be good. So it's a very similar deck, but just with green instead of black. And that you lets you play Tosky with your Clarion Spirit tokens. You also get to play Jasper as Sentinel, which has to be good. That's basically the same, right? It's a very budget list. I mean, these, like, prowess, like, magecraft spell decks, they're always, like, cheap on wild cards, huh? Uh, this is just Boros aggro pile, just good to Boros creatures, and then good to Boros non-creatures. Congratulations, Dave, guys. <clears throat> Very glad to hear that everything went well and that mom and little Jace are healthy. The sad thing is, this is probably the least interesting deck of the ten and probably will be the best one. I mean, this is just good cards dot deck, and it? Scalds, Cleave, Command, Rip Apart, and then some Busto Creatures. Classic. <clears throat> this is the Big Daddy deck. This Of the ten, this is the one that has the potential to be either 0 out of 10 power level or 10 out of 10 power level. There's no way this deck is okay. It's either the nuts or trash. Congratulations, dude, less than three. So, plan is play a Steamkin and or a Burgi. And then make a lot of mana, cast a lot of spells, kill them. Which sounds good in theory, huh? <laughs> this is great banter! Que Ecuador! Que Ecuador! <laughs> <laughs>